Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna review Pokemon XYZ episode number 39. Now ladies and gentlemen, this episode, despite what happened in the previous episode where it kind of killed the vibe for the Team Flare arc, this nonetheless was a great episode. I mean, going into it, if you put aside the last episode that happened, and you just focus on this episode alone, you would enjoy this episode. I mean, it, it actually is very interesting what was going on. It actually was, to be honest, it was quite enjoyable to watch. And, and I can't wait to see the rest of the Team Flare arc. I mean, I bet it's going to be amazing. I mean, it's going to be awesome. Yes, there is a little saltiness still there, of course, from what happened in the previous episode. But, you know, I'm just going to try to get by that, you know, pass that up, right? We're going to try to focus on this for now. Alright, but uh, the Team Flare arc, it, this was mainly just a setup for it, and it was a good one at that. There was some pretty interesting things that happened. A lot of people were showing up in this episode. A lot of cameos were happening. Um, Secret Moore, Manning, you know, the regular gang, Ash, Serena, Clement, Bonnie, you know, Zygarde, both Zygarde, Zandre, Alon, you know, you know, all these gym leaders too show up, Malva, Team Rocket, dude. All these characters. Diantha was even it too when she saved um, one of the citizens of Lumios from an incoming uh, ten tentacle root, whatever those things are. <laughs> but anywho, uh, but yeah, they all have these cameos, and I thought it was really interesting. Thing about Wolfric though, when they were showing the cameos of the uh, gym leaders, I'm like, how why would you bring an iPad out to the uh, winter forest? Like, w w like seriously, w you would. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. How are you getting Wi-Fi out there and blah, 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 blah. Anywho. So, but that was kind of an interesting to point out. It would be cool to see the gym leaders show up. I know Clement is going to play a crucial role in terms of taking back his, back his gym. Speaking of which, Blazican Man showed up. Uh, he didn't reveal himself to be their dad, but he did show up, which is something that I really, really wanted to happen. Uh, but something else from interesting from Sinkermore is that, well, Synchromore actually came and had his Garchomp ready to save Manon against one of the Team Flare people who I think was trying to kidnap her or, you know, take her away or take her back to, you know, Alon and Lissandre, but Manon didn't want to go and, and uh, you know, Synchromore showed up to save them and uh, Synchromore actually, re you know, remembered when Olympia said, oh, you're going to have to play a crucial role in this Kalos Crisis and Sigurmore thought, oh, this is it, you know, I have to, I have to do my job here. Uh, but the main story that was going on with this was Alon and Ash and Lissandre and, you know, Team Flair doing all this stuff. And so Alon and Ash work together in the very beginning to find out what's going on. But then all of a sudden Alon realizes it's Team Flair and Ash is captured, you know. And Alon doesn't do anything. He just stands there and like he, you know, he's contemplating his de decisions, his what he was doing. Uh, he finds out that all the Mega Evolution energy that he collected, Lissandre told him that he used it to control the Zygarde, and he's gonna do it for the other one as well. So Puni Chan, aka Squishy, aka you know the other Zygarde core. Uh, he tr is going to face off against the other Zygarde, you know, green versus red Zygarde. It's going to be an awesome battle, I can just see it right now. I mean, at the very, very end, you can see that that's what they're going to start off with in the next episode. The next episode, we're going to go right into delving into, like, the main plot. This was kind of just, like, the setup, but it was still pretty cool and interesting right off the bat since we saw all these characters and what they were doing. Even Shoda and Tierno and all of them were trying to fight off the, the tentacle root things that Zygarde was laying out, the you know, little frenzy plants or whatever you want to call them. But overall, this was a solid episode. I'm actually really interested to see what happens with Ash and Alon and what Alon does. I think the fact that Alon didn't immediately, like, turn on Team Flare makes this more interesting. So, like, he feels responsible for what's going on right now, you know? He feels like he's under Lissandre, that he owes Lissandre for giving him the Mega Stone, the Mega Ring, and all that. And I think Elan just feels overwhelmed with the fact that this is his, you know, responsibility. This is what he's responsible for, you know? He helped do this. And so, I think that's why he's not really doing anything at the moment. I mean, he just kind of, you know, let Ash get attacked, and Ash is now trapped on top of Lumio's tower, and Lissandre is going to use him uh, and his 
uh, Greninja to be able to control the other Zygarde. That's that's my prediction. Is why um, that's all he needs is Ash and his bond with Greninja and have that energy be used to attack and control the other Zygarde. Uh, but anywho. This looks really interesting, and even the previews that were shown, T-Rocket and Manon working together, that was kind of cool, and as you can see, uh, Ash and Greninja looks, I don't know, it looks like they're being forced to be um, bonded here because of the white in the background, but, because you know, it's not like normal, it's back to where it's kind of like loose, and it looks like they're being forced to bond together for some reason, I don't know. Uh, but it's just an interesting thing to point out, but what do you guys think about this episode? I know it kind of killed the vibe with the whole Kalos League, you know, ending all that, but overall, if we put that aside, this was a really solid episode, and we should be happy about that, but, you know, Tokyo TV is still getting all those dislikes and hatred and stuff, uh, but, you know, it does deserve that, by the way. <laughs> anyway, guys, I love you. Peace out. Thank you very much.